okay there is hell and the lake of fire and i assume the lake of fire is worse than hell because i believe in the book of revelation hell is going to be cast in the lake of fire so from this, I guess I can assume the lake of fire is worse than hell. So let me ask you this. Let's say right now and until you die, let's say God will allow bad things to happen to you every single day. Let's say God increases bad things to happen to you. Let's say God says to you, hey, I don't care. I don't care about you. Let me allow so many bad things to happen to you. Let me let you have a very hard life. What would you do? What would you do? Would you turn your back against God? Like, hey, since God is not for me, let me go my own way. Let me live my life in my own way. Would you do that? This may be easier said than done, but if God was that way toward me, I think it is still beneficial to live for Jesus Christ still. Even if God won't give me anything else in this world, if I serve him, and if he allows, I can miss out on hell and the lake of fire. So even if those were the only two good things that would benefit me, so be it, right? I believe hell is going to be so bad. Not only that, hell is not the final place. The lake of fire is, I believe, the final judgment, right? The final judgment for sinners, I believe. So if the lake of fire is worse than hell, if hell is worse than what you can go through on this earth, if I am saying that right, if hell is worse than any bad thing you can go through on earth, isn't it beneficial to live for Jesus Christ anyhow, anyway, right? You may believe God is a tyrant. You may believe God is so mean and he isn't there for you. Even if that is so, which I think it is not, even if that is so, isn't it still beneficial to live for Jesus Christ anyway? Hell and the lake of fire. Even if it is true God isn't doing anything for you, isn't it beneficial to still live for Jesus Christ anyway? I believe so. Let me stop here. God bless you.